Hello and welcome to Baki Gaming and this is the Sims 4 tutorial how to make a mural or as I like to call it multiple tile wallpaper. The programs we are going to need to make these kind of wallpapers are the game The Sims 4 of course, a program to open and save DDS files like Photoshop or GIMP, in this tutorial I'm going to use Photoshop and The Sims 4 Studio. For more information about those programs and some download links, look down below in the description. First things first, if you've never made normal one tile wallpapers before, please watch my video how to create a seamless wallpaper first, so you know the basics of making wallpapers. Now let's start by explaining what exactly a mural is. A mural in The Sims is always some sort of image that is divided into parts. Each part will be placed on a single tile wallpaper and when placing these parts next to each other they will form the whole image again. When using the normal method of making wallpapers and you made four different wallpapers to place next to each other to create a mural, you will end with something like this. As you can see there is this ugly line in between each wallpaper. It's called a seam and it's unwanted. In this tutorial I will show you how to make a mural without those seams like the one you see here. Now let's finally start making this. Unlike other tutorials I will start this tutorial in Photoshop. Now when making normal single tile wallpapers we used a width of 256 pixels. For a mural which consists of 4 tiles we are going to make the width 256 times 4 is 1000. 24 pixels. So go to File, New and use a width of 1024 and a height of 768 and then click OK. Now we are going to need an image for our mural so go to Google Images, type into the search bar Landscape HD and then click on the first image. Click right here and then click right mouse button save image as. Back in Photoshop open up your just saved image and drag it into the short wall file. Let's enlarge this window and then press Ctrl plus the zero key to see the whole image. Then go to a corner, press and hold shift and drag it in. This way you constrain proportions. Now let's move it to the right spot. And if you're finished, hit the Enter key. Now we need to resize the file to match EA wall sizes before importing it to The Sims 4 Studio. So go to Image, Image Size and then choose for Width and Height 512 pixels. And hit OK. Now your image will look a bit strange, but it's supposed to look like this, so don't worry. Eventually, in game, it will be stretched out again. Now go to File and Save As. And choose a map to save all your files in. I'm going to save everything I make in Tutorial Mural Wallpaper. Now for Format, choose DDS and then name your file and click on Save. In the next window, choose DXT5 and generate MIP maps and then click save again. Now do anything we did before again but now for the medium and tall wall. For both medium and tall wall we are going to use a width of 1024 pixels just like we did with the short wall. The height for the medium wall has to be 1024 and for the tall wall 1280. After you place your images on both walls you have to resize these two. For the medium wall use the same sizes as for the short wall. So go to image, image size and fill in for both width and height 512 pixels. Then click OK. For the tall wall go to image, image size and only change the height from 1280 to 1024 and then click OK. Now save both medium and tall wall files as DDS files too and in the following window click save as both DXT5 and generate MIP maps will already have been selected. 
Now open the Sims 4 Studio and if this is your first time opening the Sims 4 Studio, you have to fill in your creator name first. After that, select wall and click create recolor. In the following window, select the yellow plain wall and click next. Now go to the map you already saved your DDS files to, name your package and click save. In the next window, give your mural a name and description and change the price if you want. Then click texture. Then use your scroll wheel to zoom out a bit and then go to the texture section. Be sure to have selected short and diffuse and click on import. In the next window, click your short wall DDS file and click open. Do the same for the medium. and tall wall. After you've done that, click save. Now as I'm not going to make a second mural, we don't have to change the swatch thumbnail colors as you won't see them. We do have to change the thumbnail right here. So to do that you can click export or make a new file in Photoshop. I'm going to make a new file in Photoshop. In Photoshop go to File, New and make a new file with a width and a height of both 116 pixels. Then click OK. Now open up your image again and drag it into the square. Then enlarge this window and resize the image so it fits the square. Then go to File, and save as. Now name your thumbnail and for format choose JPEG. Then hit save. You can make the quality 12 and then hit OK. Back in the Sims 4 Studio click import, select your thumbnail and click open. Then click on tags. Now select your desired wall pattern type and colors and after that click save and OK. Now there is one last thing we need to do and to do this click on the warehouse tab over here. Now search for a line called material definition. There are three lines called this way and we need to change something in all those three lines. But let's start with the first. So click on it and then go to materials items and click on edit items. Now search for shader data, diffuse UV scale and behind the number zero, change the one into 0.25, then hit enter. Now if your number changed into 25 only, then you have to hit the comma instead of the dot. After that, click somewhere here and then click save. Now go to the second material definition line Again, go to edit items, search for the diffuse UV scale and change 1 into 0.25. Hit enter again, click here and then save. Now do the same thing for the last material definition line. So click it, click edit items, go to diffuse UV scale and change the 1 into 0.25 hit enter, click somewhere here and click save. Now after you've done this, hit the save button one more time and click OK. Our mural is now ready to use in game. So move your package into the mod folder and let's check it out in game. Now in game go to wall coverings and wall painting and search for your thumbnail. You will notice that when placing this mural, the game will decide where it will start and end. For more information about placing murals, watch my video How to place multiple tile wallpapers by clicking on the video link at the end of this video. Now let me show you too how the medium and tall wall will look like. So this is the short wall, this is the medium wall and finally this is the tall wall. I hope my tutorial was easy to follow and if you still have questions, please ask them in the comments below. 
More tutorials will come, so if you don't want to miss them, please subscribe. Have fun making your own murals and see you next time.